topic is about Vietnamese wedding party. Vietnamese wedding is a very important event and also busy times for families of the bride and the groom and even for their relatives. Today, Vietnamese wedding parties are very sophisticated and have to follow three vital rituals. The first ritual is biting visits, which means their marriage starts at the gateways before going into their houses. In the past, it was the first meeting of their parents to allow their children to love each other. Vietnamese parents were the ones who decided their children's lovers. Traditionally, only after having these rituals could the boy come to the girl's house to invite her out privately. Nowadays, we still have this kind of rituals, but it's changed. It happens right before the wedding party. More importantly, boys and girls can freely, freely date with each other without their parents' permission. This is also time for their families to meet and plan for their wedding party. The next one is being engaged. The groom's family prepare a group of representatives together with seven or nine trays of offering, including sweets, tobacco, beer, and erica, stem, bushiness, rice, pork, and then bring them to the bride's house. The groom's family have to choose the boys who haven't had wives yet to carry the trays to the bride's house. And similarly, the girls from the bride's family are also single. They receive the trays from the boys. Asian people believe that after their marriage, the bride become a member of the groom's family and can come back home. Therefore, the groom has to bring lots of expensive offerings to the bride's house. It's like to compensate for her family. Their families talk to each other formally and carefully as well. They only talk about their future and happy stories. You should know that their representatives are also in good social status and their families are happy. Have no one who dies or divorces at that time. The final ritual is the most important and also the busiest one, including bringing the bride to the groom's house and celebrating their wedding party. They happen at the same time. The groom's family and their representative will come to the bride house and then bring her to their house. Everyone gets dressed up and the grooms will be taken by a car being decorated with flowers. After the talk, the representative has to burn incense to ask the bride's ancestor to bring her to their home. The party is celebrated as promptly as possible depending on their financial ability. In cities, people usually organize it in restaurants. Meanwhile, in countryside, their families and their relatives all participate in helping them to prepare food, chairs, or tables and tents. The party often has an MC and lively music. The guests behave in a formal way and they don't eat much talk slightly and congratulate the owners. Every guest brings an envelope containing from 10 to 25 dollars. They write their names on it and give it tactfully to the groom or his parents. In fact, this money is to balance the one that the family used to celebrate their party. Like other East Asian groups, Vietnamese people also choose Black Key Day based on lunar calendar for their important events for example, for their wedding party. Therefore, in a the month, there may be lots of wedding parties happening on the same day. Things for the party are selected based on red and even numbers. Red symbolizes for the luck, the good and prosperity. Meanwhile, even numbers means a couple or two versions. Before the party, they will take pictures together and make their own album. And then they will choose the picture to hang it in the house to make sure that they are beautiful and luxurious in the picture. And that's what I want to share with you about Vietnamese wedding party. Bye and see you in the next video. Welcome to Vietnam.